flight of an international patrol plane. Down there, look, a pool, several miles in diameter. Who would build a pool in the middle of the ocean? Let's take some pictures. Now look, what's that on radar? Looks like a formation of three jets approaching as fast. They're in attack formation. This is Volganian Air Force. You are over our territory. Change course immediately. This is International Patrol Plane. No record of national boundaries in this area. Last warning. Change course or we attack. I never heard of a nation called Volgania. What are they doing? Warning. Withhold any illegal attack. I will repeat. Hey. They've started shooting at us. I'll try maneuvering to lose them. Here goes. The patrol plane was able to escape the attacking jets and bring a report and photos to the International Council. Delegates, on the screen, you see an enlargement of a photograph taken by an international patrol plane that was under attack during this patrol. The attack came from jets belonging to a nation called Bogania. At this time, we have no idea of the purpose of the huge pool shown in the photo. I couldn't find Bogania in our directory of nations. There is no record that it exists at all. Then there's no problem. Use full force and wipe them out. I tell you, it's not quite that simple. They might be a legally constituted new nation. Additionally, we want to know what the purpose of this pool is. The Metropolitan International Crime Investigation Bureau has been alerted and will give us a report soon. Things have been pretty quiet around here for a while, haven't they, Jenny? I really don't mind. We don't get much chance to relax. Why don't we take a walk and act like sightseers? Gee, this is pleasant, Tobor. It really is. We ought to do it more often. I find the neon signs fascinating, don't you? Tobor, are you listening to me? That star. It doesn't belong there. What do you mean, Tobor? It's too bright for that part of the sky, and the glow is increasing. It is getting brighter. Can you guess what it might be, Tobor? It must be artificial. <laughs> Look! What's going on? I think it's reflecting concentrated sunlight. Look at it glow. It's fading again. At about 8.30 this evening, a strange phenomenon occurred covering the entire city and surrounding areas. For a period of about three minutes, night turned into day. 
The National Astronomical Bureau informs us that there is no cause for alarm. Definite information is available that this phenomenon was caused by an artificial satellite under human control. It is not yet known whose it is, what authorities are investigating. The solar satellite is of a type long under study by all nations. It is used to focus sunlight on areas now useless because of climate. In the polar region, it could create great areas of vegetation. Currently, no known nation claims ownership of the satellite. I imagine you called me because of that solar satellite, eh, Chief? Oh, no, nothing to do with that, eighth man. Oh, I thought you might have wanted me to go up there and take a close look at that satellite for you, Chief Fumble Thumbs. We have an assignment from the International Council. It's important. I want you to handle it for me yourself, eighth man. Of course. I'm ready to go, Chief. Very well, then. Here are your plane tickets and passport. Your plane leaves at 12.15. Well, I take it there's no time to waste. It's a very important case. I'll do my best. So long. Eighth man, the best of luck to you. As the plane took off, I wondered about this strange assignment. I knew only that one of our agents would meet me at my destination and fill in details that the job was somewhere in the South Seas. It wasn't even time to say anything to Jenny. That satellite seems to get brighter each day. I wish Mr. Tobo were here. I wonder where he might be. Mr. Tobo, I'm Fleming of Metro International. Would you mind coming with me, please? Chief Bumblethumb said you'd have the details on this case for me, Mr. Fleming. Have you ever heard of a nation called Bougainia, Mr. Tobo? Bougainia? No, I never have. Well, neither had we. Anyway, a nation calling itself Bougainia has set up a huge pool in the middle of the ocean. Matter of fact, they fired on an international patrol plane. Hmm. I see. That is strange. Your job will be to find out whatever you can about Bougainia and that pool in the ocean, too. You will get every possible kind of cooperation, as you will soon see. Our destination is just ahead, Mr. Tobo. Lonesome spot, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's why it was chosen. Look out there. He's the atomic submarine Seamaster, placed at your disposal. From now on, you're the commander of that fighting submarine, Tobor. Excuse me, Captain. Can you please tell me what you know about this assignment? First, we are to take you to a specific destination and then give you our full cooperation. Well, do you know anything about the pool? No, nothing. What's our expected arrival time? In about 36 hours. Right there on the chart, you see our present position. Up periscope and chart a course. I was on my way to investigate a strange pool in the ocean and a nation no one had heard of. As I looked at the screen, I noticed that the focal point of the solar satellite's brightness seemed to be directly over our destination. Could there be a connection? Here's a funny coincidence. The pool is very close to Intercrime Island, the base for the Intercrime Organization. Attention. Put sound muffler in operation. Muffler in operation? We detect another submarine approaching, sir. There isn't supposed to be another submarine in these waters. All nations are cooperating in this effort. Evasion course, full speed. Captain, think it could be a Boganian sub? It's certainly possible. However, if they maintain their present course, we should be able to avoid them completely. The mysterious sub did hold its course and didn't notice us. At the time, we could not get a good look at them. I would have recognized instantly the emblem, not of a nation, but of intercrime. Well, she's gone. We're in the clear. I don't know about that. What? 
Look at the radar screen. It's a cruiser right above us. We've been located. We're surely in for it this time. Dive! Maximum depth! We're under attack! Depth charges! We're at maximum depth, Captain. Can't go any deeper. Maintain full speed! Pressure must be increased internally to 300 pounds, Captain. The crew won't be able to work under such pressure conditions, Captain. You're right. We must counterattack. Fire-guided torpedo! Explosion! We hit something! No! They got our torpedoes. There's only one thing to do. We'll have to surface and fight it out up there. Wait a minute, Captain. I think I have a better idea. That's utterly ridiculous. You'll never survive out there. The pressure is fantastic. Leave that to me. Here's the whole plan. You'll put a device making the same sound as the Seamaster's motor on a guided torpedo. I'll guide the torpedo manually and leave those cruisers away so you can escape. No. No human being could ever do it. As commander, I just have to order it, sir. Your guided torpedoes are following me. Good. Now, away. I think they hit the Seamaster and they're leaving. Aha. Uh-huh. There's the big pool I'm looking for. Those cruisers were patrolling around it. And the solar satellite, right over it. Oh, it's getting bright. It's concentrating on that pool. The water is starting to boil. The heat, my electronic brain can't stand too much heat. Oh, oh. The operation has started. Look at the power of the solar satellite. All the water in that tremendous pool will soon be boiling. The crew of that submarine we destroyed would have been surprised. What a sight. The entire world will be surprised when they learn what Bogania is doing in this pool. Hail to Bogania! Bogania. <laughs> We have a report of an investigation by the submarine Seamaster. From that report, we have been able to deduce the exact usage of the great pool in the South Sea. It is used to boil tremendous quantities of seawater. A pool to boil seawater? What for? I have asked Dr. Anderson, an eminent oceanographer, to be at this meeting to explain all this to us. Dr. Anderson, if you will, sir. Thank you. Uh, Gentlemen, that pool is set up to steam the seawater so that it can be mined. Or by that, I mean the resources in the water extracted for use. A well-known theory. Among those resources are nitrium chloride, gold, silver, nitrium sulfate, and many others. We have known that this could be done, but no one has ever had the necessary energy source to do it. Bogania has apparently found a way to do it. They found the low-cost energy source. They are using the energy of the sun itself. They have succeeded in creating a device that will take the sun's power, store it, and focus it on a desired spot. This satellite, the solar satellite, that is how it is done. They use the sun? The solar satellite, that's what it's for. I warn you all, however, if Bogania is permitted to continue with this boiling of seawater without control, the world will face fantastic storms and terrible tidal waves. Natural balances will be upset. I warn you that all of mankind is in danger. 
They can't do that. Immediate action is called for. Shoot down the satellite. A warning to Bulgaria. Yes. The International Council today decided unanimously to send one warning to Bagania. If they refuse to cease satellite operations, the Council is going to use force. Hello, hello. Can't you reach the South Sea area? Oh, how angry they make me. Eighth Man has been gone too long. Why don't I get a report? I wish that phone would ring. Hello, hello. Yes. Ah, South Sea Headquarters. Uh, do you have any late report on uh, Mr. Tobor, who was on assignment out there? Uh, this is Chief Fumble Thumbs, of course. What? You mean he's been missing since he left the submarine? He might have been lost. Are you sure? Oh, no, no! Eighth man lost! Oh, no. Wait, I want more information. Are you sure? Are you definitely sure about that? Hmm? Oh, no. Eighth man. Oh, no. Eighth man, eighth man is gone. My loyal friend, Chief Fumble Thumbs, thinking I was finished, collapsed in grief, wondering what he would tell poor Jenny and how he could tell her at all. This is the international fleet. No sign of Borganian vessels at this time. It would be very easy to destroy that pool. I think one missile would take care of it nicely, sir. I don't really know if that's the answer. We must eliminate that solar satellite, too. I believe that's being handled by ground-based missiles, sir. Our assignment is that tremendous enclosed pool. Very well. Prepare missile for firing. has been destroyed? All of it? Yes, sir. The solar satellite was used to concentrate the sun's rays, and I'm afraid that did it. So, they used the solar satellite as a weapon, did they? That means we have to knock it out of the sky once and for all. Prepare missile launchers. Fire! Those missiles will blow that thing right out of the sky. Watch. Ah. Now then, then, right on course. Oh no, the missiles were destroyed before they reached the target. Sir, there's a broadcast from Bulgania. What? This is the Bulgarian Broadcasting Center. This is a warning to the world. Cease all attacks on our satellites or suffer the consequences. If any more attacks are made, we will, in order given, burn all missile bases and then all major cities of the world. Bulgaria will not allow interference. We will repeat the message. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. The world is terrified of a nation we invented. <laughs> Bulgania, <laughs> the puppet of Intercrime. The whole world fears Bulgania, and Bulgania is us. I never realized the power of the solar satellite invented by that brilliant scientist, Dr. Spectra. I offer a toast to the man who is making it possible for Intercrime to conquer the entire world. Dr. Spectra, we salute you. Bravo! Hooray! And now a toast to Bulgania and our conquest of the entire world. To Intercrime! To Intercrime! My friends, let us not celebrate too soon. We will never control the world as long as there is one power in existence, one enemy whom sooner or later we must face and who is able to destroy all we have built. He can stop us. And that is Eight Man! That's right. He could be among us right now. Remember, he can assume any appearance at all. Why, he could be any one of us right here in this room. You could be Eight Man. 
Or you, Mr. Shadow. Or Bony Pot there. Anyone. I could even be Ape Man myself, disguised as Spectra. But the solar satellite can defeat Ape Man easily, Dr. Spectra. But only if he is not right here among us, Mr. Plunder. You're absolutely right. I can't. It's amazing. You look just like me, Ape Man. <laughs> what? Which one is who? Hello, Ape Man. I have been expecting you for some time. So glad you could be here. Oh, you're pretending that I am Ape Man, eh, Ape Man? You're playing games, are you? As soon as we find out which one is Ape Man, let him have it. Be ready. Do you understand me, man? I created that solar satellite simply to bring you out of hiding, Ape Man. I knew you would try to fight it. Let's stop this playing around, Ape Man. I sometimes think that when I have finished you, I will be bored for the rest of my life. You have made an amusing enemy, Ape Man. Amusing and remarkable. <laughs> A pretty speech, but you don't fool me for one minute, Eighth Man. All right, let's get this job over with, Spectra. Shoot! Get him! It's Eighth Man! They got him? An empty cake, that's all. That's right, Thunder. Now I'll finish that satellite of yours. Goodbye, all of you. Shoot! Fire! Get him! He must not get away. Lock everything. General alarm. They expect to catch him that way. They'll never do it. <laughs> so this is the control tower of the solar satellite. Well, I'll just put it out of action once and for all. Now. Now, this one. Eighth Man, this is Spectra. You're in a trap. This whole thing was planned just to get you into that room. I have my finger on a button that will blow that building to pieces with you in it, Eighth Man. I win at last. This is your last moment. Have you nothing to say, Eighth Man? After devoting my life to destroying you, I have the taste of victory. Why do I hesitate? Now, just a touch of this button. <sighs> I hate to destroy such, such a work of science, but I must. Now, now, I must do it now. Ah, he escaped as I should have known he would. Won't I ever defeat him? I have to. I have to. The solar satellite fell out of the sky like a shooting star after I destroyed the control center. And Dr. Spectra, that strange scientific wizard who hated me, yet found it hard to strike the final blow, watched it fall. And I knew that I would have to face him again. monster who came from outer space, created by the Martians to destroy the human race. The FBI is helpless, it's 20 stories tall. What can we do, who can we call? Call no more, the ape man. Call no more, the ape man. Faster than a rocket, faster than a jet.